Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Yeah, I watch Papa's mama. Mm -hmm. Where I watch? Papa. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. First up, I have a number that you can contact me on. It is 876 458 9111. Like I always say, don't call me straight or do not call me on WhatsApp because if you do, you are not going to be getting an answer. And I will soon let you hear one of the reasons why. Send me WhatsApp messages. If you don't get a response in a timely manner, send me another message. Because guess what? It is impossible for me to respond to every single message that you send. So, if you are going to get upset because you don't get a response in a timely manner or you don't get any response at all, Save yourself from being upset and no bother text. Got it? I run a YouTube channel, not a telephone service. My core business is putting out YouTube videos. Whenever I can assist with a situation, I will. But I cannot assist with every single situation. Hear this now. And <laughs> anyhow. Someone was calling me on WhatsApp this morning. The person called about four times. Listen this. Hi, how are you? You all right? I was trying to get in touch if I want to talk to you. So when you get that message, you'll give me a call, okay? I want to talk to you, you'll give me a call. Okay, when you get that message, give me a call, I want to talk to you, okay? Good morning, sir. I do not make or take calls unless I know what the call is going to be about. So instead of saying I should get in touch with you, just tell me what it is that you want, that you wish to talk about, and let's take it from there, yeah? Sir, I just sent you a message that you need to tell me what it is that you need to talk about. If you continue, then I will have no option but to block you from my phone. I don't take calls like that. Tell me what it is that you need to talk about. If you continue calling, I have no option but to block you, all right? It's not nothing, oh my friend. Um, I call you from Saint Lucia. I want to know if you're from Jamaica. It's not nothing. It's not no big thing. I just want to know if you, if you're from Jamaica. So you see what I'm talking about? Can you imagine if I was to take all the calls? <laughs> Why may I tell you? No, that man on your screen. His name is Mister Rupert Cunningham, but everyone knew him as Stamina. Stamina, he was born on July 9, 1955, and he lived at Darlistan in the parish of Westmoreland for years. Stamina, he was a bus owner and a bus driver on the route Kingston to Savannah Lamar. Stamina, he was a humble soul and a father figure to a lot of people. Stamina was my personal brethren. Whenever me and Stamina used to buck up, we used to hold with reason. Stamina, he took sick and he had to be off the road. But guess what? I want to publicly big up Stamina's wife, Miss Cherry, for standing by Stamina's side and caring for her husband to the very end. Stamina, he transitioned in the Cornwall Regional Hospital last week, Wednesday, September 11th. His grave digging will be at Bottom Darlistan at the family plot week after next week, Saturday, October 5. His wakeyard will be at Top Darlistan at the Cunningham's residence on Friday night, October 11. And the funeral service will be at the Darlistan Holiness Christian Church on Saturday, October 12. Rest in peace, the legendary stamina and condolences to his wife, Miss Cherry, and the rest of the family and friends. Stamina, enough respect. You have touched the lives of 
everyone that you came across. Enough respect. In the news today, the White House police in Westmoreland. They have arrested and charged 29-year-old Brenton Taylor for the offense of unlawful wounding. He is living at Garden District in the White House area of Westmoreland. The allegations are that yesterday morning, Friday, September 20, about 7 o'clock, Brenton, he was at home with his 20-year-old girlfriend when an argument developed between both of them. This argument led to a fight. It is further alleged that Brenton, he used a pot to hit his girlfriend in her face, causing a wound which bled. A report was made to the police. As a result, Brenton, he was arrested and charged. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next report, the Bamboo police in Sentan, they are searching for a thief named Clifton Brown, but he's also known as Pucky. Pucky is wanted for breaking into a bar at Lilyfield in the Bamboo Police area early yesterday morning, Friday, September 20, about 4 o'clock. Reports are that late Thursday night, September 19, the bartender, she securely locked up the bar and went away. Early yesterday morning, about minutes after 6 o'clock, it was discovered that the bar it was broken into. Paki, he used an implement to pry open my window on the bar, then used a steel cutter to cut off the burglar bar. Paki, he then entered and stole cash amounting to 50,000 Jamaican dollars, a box of Cravenay cigarette, and 14 phone cards. Now, why am I saying that it's thief in Paki who do it? Paki was caught red and dead on CCTV camera. Thief in Paki, you are wanted by the police. Go give up yourself. And still in Sentan, this one took place yesterday morning. Friday, September 20, about 5.30. It took place in the Williamsfield area of Lime Hall. Our information is that the police, acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid at a house in the area. During the search of a room in the house, Bingo. One PNQ 9mm pistol, affixed with a magazine containing four live rounds, were found under a mattress inside the room. The guy who occupied the room and who was present during the search, he was arrested and charged. His name is Conroy Robinson, but he's popularly known as Gaza or Desric. He is 34 years old and he's from the Windsor area of Sentan. So, Gaza, he'll be going to the courts shortly. Intelligencers, big up on yourself. And Sentan police, job well done. And still in Sentan, this one took place early this morning. Saturday, September 21, about 2 o'clock. It took place at Bravo Street in the Golden Grove area of Sentan. Our information is that a male, he is 30 years old. He had just arrived home, parked and exited his car. As he came out of the car, he was just in time to see a hoodlum at the side of his house with a gun in his hand. As a result, he ran off to the other side of the house. The hoodlum, he opened a barrage of gunshots at him, but luckily, he escaped unhurt. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. You want to know how lucky this guy is? The police, they were called and when they processed this crime scene, a total of 10 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. This one took place early this morning. Saturday, September 21, about a few minutes after 1 o'clock. It took place in front of the Negril Police Station in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that that young man on your screen, his name is Junior Richards, but he was popularly known as Alex. Alex was born on May 5, 1999, 25 years old, and he was living at West End in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Alex, he was at a dead yard in the 
Orange Hill area of Westmoreland from last night till early this morning when he left to go home. Alex was riding a motorcycle and approaching the Negril Police Station along Namprel Road. Alex, he was riding towards the town centre. A 2015 white Toyota Mark X motor car being driven by a 23-year-old guy from West End in Negril. It was coming in the opposite direction. It is said that the guy driving the Toyota Mark X, he overtook a car that was travelling in front of his car. As a result, he collided head-on into the bike that Alex was riding. There is a photo of the Mark X on your screen. Alex, he was thrown from the bike onto the asphalted main road and that was it for him. Alex, he ended up dying on the spot. Let's hope that the Mark X driver is made to face the full force of the law. The mayhem. In this next report, detectives in Portmore, they have arrested and charged Jaden Wilson, also known as Jabad. He is 21 years old and he's living at Caymanas Estate in the parish of St. Catherine. Jabad, he has been charged for the offenses of murder, wounding with intent and firearm related charges. The allegations are that on Monday night, May 3, 2021, about minutes to 12 midnight, a goat farmer named Kevin Morris, also known as Kill Bill, he was 37 years old at the time and he lived at Caymanas Estate. He and another man were at home cooking and watching television when Jabad and another hoodlum who were armed with guns entered the house and opened gunfire hitting both of them. Kill Bill, he received gunshot wounds to his upper body and he died as a result. The other man, he received gunshot wounds to his right leg. His left shoulder and his back, but he survived. When the police processed that crime scene, 12 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Now, j -Bad, he was recently held in a police operation and he was charged, so he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next report, I carried a report last month on Saturday, August 10. It was about an incident that took place the previous night, Friday, August 9, about 8.15. It took place in the vicinity of Hamilton Gardens along the Gregory Park Main Road in the parish of St. Catherine. I told you that that man on your screen, his name is Adrian Campbell, but he was also known as Bobby R. Skunky. Skunky was 52 years old and he lived at Erie's Close in the Watson Grove area of Gregory Park. I told you that Skunky, he was riding his bicycle along the roadway when he was approached by two hoodlums who pulled guns and opened gunfire at him. Skunky, he was hit in his upper body. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape on foot in the area. Skunky, he died on the spot. Detectives have now made a breakthrough in that incident. An apprentice jockey named Jeremy Lindo, but he's popularly known as Cooley R. Jockey. He is 20 years old and he's living in the Gregory Park area. He was recently held in an operation and taken into custody by the police after he was identified as one of the killers. He has since been charged for murder and firearm related charges so he'll be going to the courts shortly in this next report we are learning that yesterday morning friday september 20 about some minutes after 11 o'clock a man he was seen on fire across from the entrance to clifton district along the bernard latch main road in the parish of saint catherine as a result the police and the fire department were contacted we are told that a unit from the Waterford Fire Station responded and they carried out cooling down operation. The burnt remains of a man was seen lying on his back with remnants of tires and wood surrounding the remains. Did you hear what I just said or do you understand what I just said? Someone or more than one person. 
used tires and wood to set the man on fire. Broad daylight yesterday morning. The questions are, who and why? Up to the time of recording this video, I hadn't gotten his name. But as soon as I do, I'll be updating this story. The mayhem. This one took place last night. Friday, September 20, almost 9 o'clock. It took place in the vicinity of the Fesco gas station at Bordels in the Old Arbor area of St. Catherine. Our information is that the police... They received intelligence that some wanted hoodlums were seen at a premises in the area. As a result, a team of police officers went there. The police, they are claiming that on their arrival, a group of guys were seen. They are alleging that one of them pulled a gun and in a few seconds it was all over. The police, they are alleging that that guy, he fell clutching a .38 revolver loaded with Four live rounds and one spent shell. He received gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was later identified as Omar Malcolm, also known as Twin Man. It is said that Twin Man is off an old Arbor address. He was rushed to the Mapen Hospital where he was pronounced DEAD. Indicom are carrying out investigations. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that man on your screen, his name is Roshian Nelson. He was 32 years old. Now, let me give you a brief history about Roshian. We are told that last year, Roshian, he did the police entry test and he was successful. He went in and he began training as a police officer, but he resigned in June of this year so the truth is Russian is an ex-student constable he lived in the greater portmore area of saint catherine reports are that last night friday september 20 about 11 30 Russian, he was sitting in his white toyota fielder motor car along 54th place in the two east area of greater portmore he was awaiting his father for both of them to go and attend a party. A hoodlum walked up, pulled a gun and opened gunfire hitting Russian to his upper body. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape on foot in the area. Russian's father rushed with him to the Spanish Town Hospital but it was too late. He was pronounced D.E.A.D. on arrival. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Oh, With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Show me a cup, oh, show me a cup, 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 show me a cup,
me a the land of the sun Show me a the come now the land of the gun East and north and south when me turn Country and town man a play a blood of home Murder, don't you be a me here them a murder